What happened? How did this story develop? If this is your first time watching our channel, and you want to find new facts to be more informed, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss anything. After graduating from economic school, my husband Anton and I decided to do a project to earn money, so I wanted to put a few ideas into practice. My husband was very supportive and after we gathered enough money, he and I bought a piece of land outside of town, near the highway. At that point, my husband noticed this man with a big, beautiful cat in his truck. The man got into the truck and took the cat, then began to tell my husband its story. A few years ago, I was living in a beautiful village and enjoying life with my friends. I met a beautiful young woman in the village and married her. However, our marriage lasted only a year when my wife decided to abandon me and move to the city. I was so disappointed that I started looking for work to get away from the village. I couldn't stand being there anymore, so I worked for a company as a truck driver transporting goods, a job I still do today. At that time, I drove the truck time, enjoying the forest and the stunning natural scenery. One day, while on my way to Ostok Lead City, I stopped my truck on the side of the road and took a break in the woods. Suddenly, I heard a strong sound coming from the forest, so I decided to look for the source. There I found Mike, who was no more than two months old, standing still, and then I realized that it had gotten separated from his mother and needed help. It was hungry and threatened to get lost in the forest, so I took it to the doctor in the nearest city. The vet examined it and told me it was a female lynx, but it was undernourished, so I had to keep it company for a few days and feed it well until it fully recovered. As time went by, Mike slowly recovered and kept eating. At that time, it sat beside me and shared food with me. When I was driving, it helped me check the road. I considered releasing it, but I felt so happy with it that I decided to keep it unless it wanted to go back to the forest. Mike was slowly growing up and it had sharp, pointy teeth, but I wasn't worried because I knew very well that it wouldn't hurt me. Wherever I went, it was my faithful guardian. It accompanied me to many places, Vostok, and we made the truck our home. We spent most of our time in the truck, so I gradually forgot about my friends and my ex-wife who had abandoned me. Mike was very smart and could express some information with its movement. It gave a distinct signal when it was time to go to the bathroom. When it was hungry, it would make another move. After I got used to it, I understood all the signals it gave out. I often bought Mike the food it liked, such as meat and milk. It liked to sleep next to me, sometimes close to me on my lap so I could pet it. I noticed that Mike loved Russian songs, and when it came to the songs it was very calm, and sometimes even fell asleep with the music. It helped me many times. One day, it saved me from the bad guys who were hurting me. I knocked down a drunken man who tried to attack me with a knife. I became more dependent on it because of these things. I promised myself that I would never give it up no matter what happened. It lived with me for 20 whole years, and I had the best time of my life in those 20 years. It was like a friend and companion to me, never afraid of me or attacking me. It was aggressive to anyone who tried to approach me or show hostility to me. Mike had grown up and become less active. It liked to sleep and often refused to get out of the car and would only come down when I told it that it had to. I thought it was leaving this world. Animals are like cats. They live mostly 15 to 20 years. When I look at it, I'm sad. I couldn't imagine my life without it, so I stayed with it. I knew I would miss it terribly if it wasn't with me. Mike also realized that it was about to leave this world, so I considered leaving it with offspring because it didn't want to leave me alone. What happened afterwards was a great shock to me. One day it went out while I was resting and eating in the forest. 
It jumped out of the truck and quickly went into the jungle, which surprised me because it was the first time it had gone without my permission. I thought it wanted to go to the forest to end its life, but I didn't want to say goodbye in such a painful way, so I waited. Mike came back and slept next to the truck. I tried to move on and get it into the truck, but it refused and went back into the woods. By then, it knew what it was doing. Mike came back a second time and bit my pants with its mouth and dragged me forward. I realized it wanted to take me somewhere, so I followed it into the forest. After half an hour or so, it suddenly stopped in front of a large cardboard box and looked inside. I approached the box and looked, then found that two of the three cats were in distress and the other one was in critical condition and had difficulty breathing. I thought the person who did this must be an immoral and inhumane person, because he brought the cats there and abandoned them. I dug a hole and buried two of the cats, then held the third in my arms. As time went by, the cat got better and came back to life. To my delight, the cat seemed to think of Mike as its mother. Mike had been taking care of the cat, putting a hat on it as well as playing with it. At that time, it asked me to provide milk and water for the cat because it wanted to keep it for me. I took good care of the cat. I put all the necessities on the bottom and let it sleep with Mike. Soon after, Mike's condition began to deteriorate. Even though I took it to the vet and gave it medication, it didn't get better and it eventually left. That day, I couldn't drive but cried all the time. The cat sat by my side as if to comfort me. It was also sad and sensed that Mike was gone. The cat is now in the truck and stays with me. It was one year old and then this driver stroked this cat with his hand. Anton asked this driver to give him the cat, and then he held it in his hands, knowing that it was hungry. When Anton heard this story, he loved it very much, and also loved those loyal friends. He fixed the truck wheels and the driver left. Anton told me he would get a cat right, away and let it stay with us, because he wanted to live with it to after hearing the story. Thank you for watching, please like and share this video in your social networks, and we will get back to you as soon as possible.